gates, all ye gates, burning wine. And be thou lifted up ye everlasting doors. What kind of dream? What and kind the of king dream? Of glory, is of he shall come in. There is a majestic <laughs> entry that he wants Here to make. He What's the worst thing that can happen to the man to a man apart from death? Did you experience a divorce and your emotions were shattered? A dear one died, and all hope was lost. An infirmity, a sickness, is eating you up gradually, and you have wondered. Is this the end? Do you know something? If your faith does not fail. Because in the flesh we attain to our least potential. And in the spirit we attain to our greatest potential. If your faith does not fail, God can rewrite your story. It's just that the Bible says that he that cometh to God, the rule of coming to God, the rule of engaging God, cannot but be that you Belief. As long as your faith is still alive, it means that God is still on your case. The sovereign hand of God, the unpredictable hand of God is still on your case. And if that is the case, then the case is not hopeless. I've seen men come out of stuff. I, just, I went to visit a brother today. I, I, was, I was in the office when, they brought the, he, when he brought his wife paralyzed on one side and the unction came and I spoke I said this woman will use her legs and her hands again and, and she was becoming blind by an attack of the devil hallelujah we prayed in the office and anytime I come from from for weekend I drive to the house I went to the house today to check again probably to pray the woman was walking yes using the hands using everything and her sight she was seeing you need to see her complexion when that darkness was upon her her complexion changed she had regained it i have seen men in the worst of states restored as long as they believed what we said, you will not die. And that word stays there. If your faith does not fail, you will bounce back. I've seen that before. If you, if you had seen this woman I'm talking about, she was, she was hopeless. We could see the source of the attack. We could see where it was coming from. And it was within the conclave, the family conclave. And somebody wanted to use her as a sacrifice. Hallelujah. I said, no. You can't use her. The sacrifice didn't work. Hallelujah. Why? Because her faith failed not. And it doesn't matter what, where you are. The divorce shattered your possibilities. The death had made you a different person. Ooh! He said, I prayed for you. I prayed that what? That your faith will fail. Is it that you graduated from the university and you came out with a third class? A third class degree and when you look at Nigeria, look at the economy, look at your, your level of competence as predicted by your, your output, it has entered you that you are a failure. Oh! It's not, what determines your future is not a piece of paper. If only your feet fail not. I've seen righteous men speak about because of the, what the devil wants to do in this time is to make your faith, my faith to fail. Jesus said, I have prayed that your faith fail not. I've seen people bounce back. All kinds of situations. All kinds of situations. All kinds of situations. Bounce back. When I saw that lady today, ah, even her eyes, she could see. That was someone that we hold <laughs> and navigate to the office. Life had come back. 
as long as your faith does not fail the sovereign hand of god can still manipulate the situation and a new outcome will be your portion finally you want to say my faith it shall not fail have the doctors given you how many days you are going to live i came to tell you i came some of you your story will even change by the time we are bringing this our daily broadcast to an end your blood would have been refined your sight would have been restored strength would have come upon your body you any aspect of your body that you are losing the ability to use it will be restored he say i pray every other thing can go down but your faith must not fail i prayed for that my faith will not fail i grow strong in faith giving glory to god you see that if there was anybody that would have had a logical reason for him to surrender to circumstances and situations it was abraham because god was talking about him having a child when his own natural force had died and his wife who was confirmed barren in her teenage age had entered into menopause he had logical reasons to surrender but the bible says he was strong in faith he did not consider the deadness of his own body neither did he consider the deadness of sarah's womb she he was strong in faith giving glory to god that's a man that satan can't control he can't control him because he was doing the opposite of what satan wanted him to do he was strong in faith giving glory to god he didn't, didn't consider the circumstances in the fullness of time that barren womb was revived in the fullness of time his dead body was revived the story of of resurrection can only be told when faith is applied things that are dead they come back to life just because men refuse to give up and they refuse to allow their faith to fail my name will be written in the name of the men among the the men of faith the list of the people of faith that walk their generation that refuse to agree with the devil my faith will not fail what did you lose that has made you downcast you don't smile from your heart because you have been made a captive of of depression oh if only if only you can allow your wings the wings of your faith to come out then you realize you can yet mount up you can yet mount up my faith will not fail the things that god has been telling me i will live long enough to see his fulfillment i will set feet i will set feet in the promised land and i'll become everything that god has promised my faith will not fail my faith will not fail what do you see in your dreams you saw yourself as a great leader and the circumstances seem to suggest that there's nothing of leadership around you oh my god may your faith not fail 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 in the name of jesus because you are going to bounce back another chapter will have to be opened to tell your story and that chapter will be titled resurrection for even things that have been committed to death things that have died they have hope that they will rise again just just if you only believe my faith will not fail my faith will not fail in the name of Jesus it doesn't matter what the devil is doing going around seeking to have you seeking to sift you like wheat your faith it will not fail it will not fail in the name hello I hope you've been greatly blessed by this sermon watch out for our next post and don't forget to subscribe share and like our videos. Thank you.